Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints and to the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. This is the eighth video in a series of videos about how I set up my Wacom Cintiq to work with Painter 2015. Now we just finished them in the last video going over customized keys in the video before that we talked about the touch ring. I'm back here on Express Keys because I want to show you that that's where I have Display Toggle. The button that I would click in order to move from one monitor to, to the next. And that's all in the world's display toggle is about. It's about moving from, if you have multiple monitors, it's about being able to move your stylus to another screen. Okay, now let's go to display toggle. And on display toggle, it says here, or what I have to select is pin display to other displays. That allows me to move to another display. Now it's important that you make sure that you have a button set to display, dis, to display toggle, which I have, and I showed you that button on Express Keys. Now let's look at what my configuration looks like. What I have is a Cintiq is monitor one, and then I have monitor two and three which both are 30 inch monitors and they sit higher up on a shelf uh, directly behind the Cintiq. The Cintiq is on, on the table itself and I can pull it forward and even drop it into my lap if I want to. But all I have to do is look up and see the other two uh, monitors. Now if I'm using the cursor, not the uh, Wacom stylus, I can move from this monitor to this monitor just by going up and slightly to the right. I can move from two to three by just going across the panel there, move back and forth. And if I want to go from three down to one, I would just come down at a slight angle and I would enter into uh, one. You cannot do that with your um, stylus. What the stylus does, and, and in this case, what would happen is, again, I'm going to go back to Express Keys, and I'm going to be pressing that little button right there. When I press that button, do you see how my cursor went away? Well, I am actually pressing on the Cintiq, but the cursor is not on this monitor. The cursor is on monitor 2. And so this is the same thing now as a Intuos Pro, Intuos 4, Intuos 5. It's just a tablet. It's not utilizing the monitor function. If I hit display toggle again, I'm not on this monitor. I'm, I'm physically using my pen on this monitor, but monitor 3 is the one where you see the cursor. And if I hit it a third time, you'll see that I'm back here and can paint on this mon on the Cintiq and uh, see the cursor and so forth. That's all in the world this is about. Now I do need to tell you that Wacom does not support this kind of configuration. It only supports the Cintiq with one extra monitor. If you have the Cintiq in two monitors, you're not kosher. And so when I was having some trub trouble with the Cintiq, I needed to take off monitor three and then work with just two monitors to prove that the problem was not the fact that I had a third monitor. And it wasn't. I know other people that have multiple monitors and they do fine with it. I'm doing fine with multiple monitors. But bear in mind, Wacom only supports the Cintiq with one extra monitor. Okay, now you know everything there is to know about display toggle, I hope. <laughs> so we'll come back uh, in the next video, and we're going to talk about the radial menu, which is, in my book, the most important thing that you can use with your Wacom tablets or Cintiq. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.